I think the reason Justin is unhappy in his marriage with Haley It's Ellie. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the twin flame journey of Justin and Selena. We're going to talk about Kanye West. I think Kanye is gone. I think Britney is gone. And I'm beginning to think this cloning shit is real. So if you guys are here for the first time and you don't know me, I don't know, bitch. You must be living under a rock, honey. If you guys are here for the first time, my name is Ellie Arkin. I'm a psychic medium, manifestation, life coach, and founder of Okay Cosmetics. I am wearing my own makeup today, bitch. Yes, so if you guys want to get my lipstick, this is Celestia. It's gorgeous. Is this kind of like a, it's kind of like a hybrid of like a pink and coral together. I think that's what Celestia is. It's like a summer, like spring vibe. And then I just have some eyeliner and then I have my blush. Everything's vegan, organic, cruelty free. I have my blush and highlighter on. And then I just have a little bit of uh, eye makeup on from my my uh, eyeshadow palette. And I'm using the dark to just to do the, the eyeliner in the corner. And then I just put like a very, very light eyeshadow on the lids. And incredible skincare products, 24 karat gold collagen, day serum, night serum, hydrolic acid, avocado oil, hobo oil, vitamin E, face cream, the most hydrating face cream you will ever need. And if you wanna be gorgeous and you wanna transform your skin from top to bottom, face and body, then try my soap because we have gold. This is 24 karat gold and you're gonna be flawless and you're not gonna have acne anymore. Give this video a like and subscribe. I came across this really beautiful edit of Justin and Selena, the way they behave towards their fans, the way they behave towards people in general, and then in contrast, it shows like somebody like Jennifer Lopez or Kendall Jenner or Kylie or Haley and all these people, the way they treat people. If there's a homeless person, like they're not even aware of people's sufferings. And um, so it's, it's, it's an interesting clip. Now I can't put it here because I tried to put it as a short and um, I got a strike for it because it's like someone else's like edit. I can't put it as my video. So anyways, in this edit, it's just interesting that it's showing basically like Jennifer Lopez is walking and there's a homeless person right there. She's not conscious of anybody else but herself. Kylie, you know, the same thing in Kendall and, and how when people ask them for like autograph or like pictures and stuff like that, they're just like so bitchy and weird and, and they're just almost like they're gr grossed out by their fans, even though the fans are the ones that they put them on the map, right? See edits of Justin Bieber before, these, these edits of Justin, I feel like, or were before he got with Haley and got married. And basically in this video, I wanna tell you guys spiritually, my psychic opinion, disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. This is just my psychic opinion. This is just tea with Ellie, okay? The tea with Ellie, this is just my thoughts. I think the reason Justin is unhappy in his marriage with Haley. Maybe it's not entirely about Selena. Maybe it's an energy thing. Are we gonna get into it? And that's what I'm gonna to talk to you guys about in this video. I think the reason, okay, let me just tell you guys the edit. I know I'm all over the place. So in this edit, we see Justin like laying on the ground, like literally laying on the ground next to a couple of homeless people. And he's having a full on 30, 40 minute conversation with this like older woman, like laying on the, on the, on the asphalt, like on the ground with this, a homeless person it made me cry and and I thought that was so beautiful that he's doing that that he does that and they recognize him the homeless people they recognize him or there's edits of him like walking around as much as I want to call him like poo poo head and and you know I'm angry at him because of what he did to Selena but we will we'll get this edit always gets me and I cry every single time so I'm not gonna cry because I have makeup on but it just really like gets it just my heart just there's an edit of Selena. She's at the airport. This is years ago. And she, this frantic fan like runs up to her. Now, 
this guy is like you can tell he's like mentally like challenge so frantic and so excited to see selena right now but he knows he can't just stand there and like take up her time so what he does is like he's frantically trying to like get his phone out and he's trying so hard to like take a photo with her and she sees that and as an empath because she's an empath she's a cancer sign she's a water sign she can see that so she keeps like touching him i'm gonna chill talking about this right now i swear to god you guys ah selena gives me chills with her humanity i'm getting chills you guys i can't i don't okay so and i don't want to cry i don't want to cry okay so um she keeps touching him and she keeps like you know caressing his hair and just touching him and rubbing his back and just being very calm and just taking time with with him like it's okay if you're trying to figure out how to get photos like so she just lets him do his thing she's not rushing him she's not pushing him away and then i think she helps him or something and then he takes a photo and she hugs him like so tenderly right and then you see these other edits of her like hugging her fans so tenderly and like rubbing their back and just like kissing their foreheads or it's just so beautiful to see and you don't we don't have celebrities like that that really like take the time to react to their fans like the fans are the reason like you are in your position like if i ever had fans like that i would do the same i mean i do have fans like that but they just don't see me in person you know and i remember a lot of times when i used to go live and if i would cry because i was in this like horrible relationship this toxic violent relationship and i used to cry all the time i looked older i was fucking miserable i hated my life and i didn't know how to get rid of the situation and it was a twin flame thing i don't even know if it was a twin flame i i'm beginning to think my situation was not a twin flame that's that's why i kind of wanted to make like a separate video just talking about the twin flame energy between justin and selena because i feel like they're a pretty good like you know like uh like a poster um thing for us um anyways so anyway so when i saw that edit something spiritually like like it just clicked for me and i was like oh my god the reason justin is so unhappy in his life right now it's not even about Haley, and I, I it's not even even about selena it's about energy Justin is with somebody who's energe ener energetically not a match for him. That's the big. That's the biggest problem that Justin is having. I wish that I could coach Selena. I wish I could coach Justin. I swear to fucking God, like I don't know how I can get. I need to manifest like getting myself into like coaching celebrities because I think the celebrities are just like the rest of us. They're human beings. Like they don't fucking know. They have millions of dollars and they have yes man, yes yes ma'am around them all the time. So they don't get to like develop or like heal or like you know excel in their personal life Ugh, my phone is ringing hold on what guys. i was saying was like i really wish i could coach justin i really wish, wish i could coach selena i feel like these celebrities they might go to like a, a therapist they might you know get mental health assistance but i don't think that they get they don't have they're not they're not getting coaching about like their personal lives you know what i mean so i gotta manifest that i would love to coach justin and selena i'm serious like i would just put them in the same fucking room and i would just say let's hash this out let's hash this out and figure out what the hell is going this on this is a download that i got today when i was watching those edits and those clips where it made me very emotional and i cried before i put my makeup on thank god because i don't want to be crying when i have my makeup on bitch because we're looking cute and we're going to make sure we're going to stay cute as we do the video i just feel like oh my gosh so justin is energetically aligned with someone that is not a match for him and that's why he comes across as so unhappy so justin comes across as so unhappy because he's with someone who is completely not of an energy match for him for him so selena and justin even if we let's even take the twin flames shit out okay we're talking about energy here energetically speaking justin and selena are energetic energetically a match they're both water signs they're both very compassionate very emotional love people they come from a a life before fame that wasn't glamorous you know single mom the mom had to do a couple of jobs to help raise them so they understand what it's like for somebody to be poor they understand what it's like for people to be struggling they've experienced it they've watched it growing up right so now they're rich and famous but you're never going to forget that you're never going to forget those moments and those memories right so they understand that that's why they're so compassionate that's why they're so like 
tender they will that Justin used to be I don't know he's just completely changed and he he acts really snobbish and really weird which I feel like is the energy that he's picking up from Haley so the energy that Justin is now portraying and projecting is the energy it's not his energy because he's with someone that is like that so so after a while when you're with somebody energetically you start kind of your 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 vibrational energy becomes one eventually especially when you're married eventually your energetic field your your even you start kind of looking like each other your mannerisms and things it starts kind of like blending right that's why they say be careful who you marry be careful who you get into a relationship with because you're going to pick up energetically from them and so i feel like justin behaves like Haley does. Like Haley is snobby and she doesn't want to talk to people or take photos with them and she thinks she's better than everybody. And and all, the, all that energy is now Justin is behaving like that because the old Justin would never behave that way. Um, he loved his fans. He was very like hands-on and and very expressive with his emotions and he's no longer like that, which is so very sad, right? So. I know in my heart that energetically speaking, Justin and Selena are a match energetically. Even if we take the twin flame shit out, energetically they're a match. And Justin is with the wrong person and Selena I think is single or she dates. And Selena, the reason she's single is not so much that she's mourning Justin's you know, break up. I think she just has not met anyone that's an energetic match for her. So Selena, energetically speaking, I, know I keep saying energetic, 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 shut the fuck up. I know what I'm, I keep repeating myself, but I think Selena, energe I think she's Selena energetically. I think Selena knows spiritually, like she's aware of herself spiritually speaking. So she's looking for that partner, right? And she knows she's not gonna waste her, her time with someone that's not gonna be a match for her. It's beyond looks and money and all of that. You know, we all need that companionship that's going to be a match for us, you know? It's okay if they're opposite of you, but there has to be a common denominator there. So that's how I feel about it. I think that is why Justin is unhappy. He's with someone who's not reciprocating the same energy. And then not only that, they're not energetic match for each other, Justin is unfortunately picking up bad habits from Haley because Haley is not a good person and she's evil and she's dark and she's just like not right for him at all because um, he's emotional and she's not. And let's talk about the cloning thing really quickly about Kanye West. So like I said, I don't know how I used to feel about the cloning thing. I don't know how the cloning thing is done, but I'm beginning to think this shit is real. I was watching a video about Kanye West because that's going viral on TikTok too, where somebody pointed it out and I was like, oh my God, I totally see it. So if you see videos of Kanye West talking, um, or his music videos or his videos and stuff like that. Like the way he used to look, he actually has like a smaller nose and he has kind of like, like a kind of cute, like pouty lips, like kind of like this way. They're not wide, they're kind of like this and like a cute face, right? Like a round face, like how North North's faces, like the way her lips are. And the Kanye that we see now, as if somebody stretched him out, he's super wide, and I'm not talking about the shoulder pads, he's super wide, and his nose is this big on his face, and his lips are like this big, and I know you can gain weight, and I know it changes, it, but nah, I don't think it's that he gained weight. His face is like this big, his nose is this big, his mouth looks weird, his eyes look different, he looks different and he's acting different. And then right before he went quiet and then we saw the new Kanye out with this woman that he married or whatever, that Kanye, the old Kanye kept saying, if you don't see me, and then all of a sudden I disappear and I come back, it's not me, they cloned me. Like he, he literally talked about it. Like whether people think he's crazy or not, he totally started talking about celebrities and how they have to sacrifice things and they do dark stuff and all that shit. Like he came out, he told, his story, he threw everybody under the bus. So they probably got rid of him. I have no doubt in my mind that they got rid of him. They probably cloned him. I feel like the old Kanye is gone and I feel like the old Britney is gone. Same thing with Britney. Britney looks different and I know that you can age and I know that you're, you can gain weight or lose weight and it changes you, but you, your teeth don't change. If you guys have known me for as long as I've been on YouTube, like my teeth are straight, right? I've had, I've had braces when I was in school. So I have straight teeth. All of a sudden, like you don't hear from me for a year. And then I come back on YouTube and then my teeth are like completely different. I look co completely different. And you guys are like, oh my God, Ellie, I didn't recognize you. I didn't know if this was, this was you. 
that's basically what we're experiencing with the clone thing and anyways i just want to talk about this i feel like kanye is gone i feel like britney is gone it's so fucking sad it's so scary it's literally so scary that that they bring people in they turn them into celebrities they make money off of them and then they get rid of them and then they bring duplicates which are easier to control or they fuck you up with like giving you medication that's going to like create like mental disorder like they actually give you mental health disorder so you can't be in charge of your own life it's some scary shit man like i'm just so happy and i feel so blessed that something beyond me which is god source energy protecting protected me and i never fully got into hollywood like it's okay for me to pursue acting and be creative and create my own content but i don't want to have anything to do with hollywood i'm fucking dead serious i the more and more and more you know i'm awake to my spiritual gifts and things like that and the downloads that i get i'm just so fucking happy i would have been dead or sex traffic god even god only knows what would have happened to me so i'm so happy i'm so thank you thank you thank you god and angels for protecting me i'm serious you guys i feel so bad i feel so bad for celebrities There's this video that's going viral about taylor swift uh, music video karma whatever and it's like everyone's like oh my god taylor is one of them and and she's doing rituals and witchcraft and stuff, stuff like that i think that she's talking about karma in this video and she's showing you in the music video that like Whatever these people did to get to where they are, karma is going to come back to them and like karma is going to get you, which I totally believe now. As a manifestation coach, I have to say it's something that you're conscious of. So then if, you're, if your consciousness is bothering you, like a sociopathic narcissist, psychologically speaking, is not going to be conscious of karma. So I don't think karma is going to come for them. But because most of us know from right from wrong, and you feel bad and guilty about something that you've done, yeah, karma is gonna come. Do you guys understand the difference? Like if you are a sociopath, a psychopath, you don't understand karma because your brain chemistry just operates differently. So karma is not gonna come for you because you just don't operate that way. You're not manifesting your thoughts in that way. But karma will come for you if you're aware of it, if you know of it, if you're conscious of it, and if you feel bad about something that you've done in your life, then it will come. If it, and it could be something that you're not even conscious of, but because you know of it, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Car the, the subject of karma is a little tricky about explaining, but I wanted to just talk to you guys really quickly today about this whole thing. And I feel really bad for Justin and I feel really bad for Selena because I feel like, yes, they're famous and they're rich and they're celebrities. But they don't have anybody coaching them. They don't have anybody teach them, teaching them. They don't have anybody helping them with this. And I know it's really difficult for Justin. And I know it's really difficult for Selena. And I know it's very difficult for celebrities who have to, you know, keep schedules and be famous and go on the red carpet and keep producing content and movies and 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 music and constantly be on the red carpet and look like a certain way and just like the, it's like it's almost like they're not allowed to be human. You know what I mean? Anyways, I want to share my thoughts with you guys. This is Tea with Ellie on this channel. We do we do everything here. But if you guys are here for the first time and you were just like, bitch, this girl's amazing. You can subscribe to my channel. You can come take sessions from me. You can buy my makeup. You're allowed, bitch. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. And I'll see you guys for another video for another day. Bye, guys.